What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and some more Ancients here for you. So we decided to pick up a African War Elephant set from Victrix as we're going to be starting a new small Persian force and we wanted to pick up one of the heavy hitters here too. So we decided to go with this one as opposed to another one from Warlord just to try this out. This one being all plastic whereas Warlord still metal resin and this is just going to be um, just also separated uh, in looks from our Macedonian one that we've been working on. Check out our posts there and also on Instagram as we're working on that. But again, this set is pretty cool because it also gives you uh, two of them, I do believe, and from there also several crew options and things like that. So and they do call this one an African war elephant, but uh, you know, and ideally here for the Carthaginians, Numidians, Romans, Ptolemaic crew options and all that. But we're going to make some small modifications here and there along the way and sort of make it or dress it up a little bit more as a Persian uh, elephant. So, so we're going to get this open for you guys as normal. We'll take a look at everything inside and we'll do a quick unboxing and review for you. Alrighty guys, so first up we have two of these sprues. There's four sprues total in the set. So we're going to get rid of one of these here just for the moment and focus in on this. So basically you have your elephant here. And looking at this now, actually I think we do get three elephants in the set, not just two. Uh, we'll have to go back and double check, but yeah, that'd actually be pretty cool. So actually really fantastic value for money here. But as we said, basically all plastic, And again, seeing the actual elephants here, we've got ears, we've got stowage for extra like things like javelins and stuff like that, the howda for the riders and crew. And as we come through here, also some shields and things like that. So again, we get two of those screws. And then bringing in the crew here. So again, as we can see, definitely some more Roman slash Greek options here. Again, in SPQR, I think, you know, what is it? Macedonians and Persians really are the elephant uh, using faction. So again, we're going to intend this mainly for our Persian force. We might decide to go with one of these maybe as just a second elephant for our Macedonians, but we'll see how we do there. And again, crew options, we can clearly see some that are going to be more Greek and Roman in style versus um, things like maybe the Persians, a little bit less armor like these guys I think is what we're going to go with there. But we get some other weapon options here, sort of a longer spear, certainly a massive, almost like a pike. Some javelin arms, again, heads, arms and stuff for the, uh, the, the person steering uh, or commanding the elephant, I guess. Different head styles as well. So and again, all fantastic, uh, easy plastic to work with here from Victrix. So let's flip this bad boy over. So again, always good stuff here from Victrix. Really have no complaints about any of their kits. And then just to bring the elephant one back one more time and kind of take a look at the back here. So you guys can kind of see inside as to what you'd be getting. Now, of course, these don't, this kit, none of their kits really do come with bases. So that's something, depending on your game, that you're going to have to plan in as an extra purchase. So whether you're building these for more of a skirmish type game or more rank and file, something like Hail Caesar or other similar type of games, you know, you have some things to consider there. But again, that gives you an idea of the kit. So again, we get two of each sprue, four sprues total. And then we're gonna grab here our little handout slash topper here for the bag that these come in. So we'll double check here. So we get, again, 16 highly detailed total models. Let's flip over to the back. One thing I do like that they also give you is kind of a rundown of what fits where, what belongs to what crew. So basically we get Carthaginian crew, Numidian crew, Roman crew, Ptolemaic crew, the Mahout, and then the elephant itself. Now if I'm counting right, again, from the kit, just to bring that on here one more time, we'll obviously find out when we build, but you know, it looks like we get two howdas total but there's basically six elephant halves, which to me tells me we get three elephants, which would be pretty cool. I guess maybe one will be without the howda, which is perfectly fine too. We'll find a use for that. I think 
that is an optional thing in the SPQR rules anyway, so maybe we'll do one with and one without. Uh, but anyway, there you have it, guys. So again, this is the African War Elephant from Victrix. Plastic, of course. You saw what you get. Let us know in the comments if you have tried this one, if this is your preferred uh, War Elephant for this scale, or do you prefer the Warlord one or anything else that's out there? Let us know what you like, guys. And we'll be, I think, especially with this Persian project, I think we're going to do something a little new where we're going to try some actual like live builds and stuff. So um, we'll, we'll make some announcements when that comes up. So stay tuned on that. But um, definitely going to be a fun project to work on. So hit us up in the comments, guys. Like and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Take care.